Hi there. Now realizing when making these two videos, I saw that a lot of players don't know the difference or ranking of endgame content. So let's talk about all endgame content, what they are, and how they rank. First up, we have casual content. This would be all content in the game mainly unlocked through MSQ or blue side quests. This includes trials and in lion trades, both 8 and 24 man content. These typically don't require any homework or going far out of your way to do. They may have item level requirements which should be easy to take care of with a few tombstones or even dungeon gear if you're at or over the required level. Difficulty can vary when first starting it, but usually tend to get better as you play it more. Let's jump into our first endgame content, Extreme Trials. As a super pro tip and right up front, we never queue for these in Duty Finder, so if you try, you'll be there for literal hours waiting. The best way to access this content is either by running it unsynced or by the Party Finder. So what are Extreme Trials? These are harder versions of the trials unlocked through MSQ. After beating the more casual version, there will be typically a blue unlock quest to access these harder versions. After that, there's another quest that you have to do to unlock the extreme versions. Let's take ARR or A Realm Reborn for example. You have the regular primals, the hard versions, which really aren't that much harder, and the extreme versions which is the hardest fight or version of that fight. Now you can run any of this content here unsynced, which means that if you're even level 60, 70, or definitely higher, you can run these in about a minute on your own and requires no party. You generally would run old extremes to farm mounts and glamour from old content. Extreme trials can also be depicted as minstrel ballads, which is just another way of saying extreme trial. Basically a fun in-game way of explaining harder difficulty without breaking lore. Other than glamours and mounts on the old old content, there isn't a lot of reasons to run these over and over. You'll probably need discord for current endgame trials as most statics and party finder will have it as an option for better communication. A static is just a group of people that you have found in game to run regular endgame content with. You generally only see these at endgame and for current extreme trials and savage content in the expansion. Speaking of Discord though, you can find mine in the description box. We're a pretty cool community for education and just overall camaraderie. Next up, we have Unreal Trials. Now, up to now, we've only had a Rum Reborn Primals as Unreal. These are the same thing as Extreme Trials with one gigantic difference. You are scaled down item level wise, which makes these sometimes far harder than regular Extremes, but still less hard than Savage content. There is only one Unreal Trial available at a time and changes periodically from patches. The next one for Endwalker, which will be dropping at 6.1, will be a trial from Heaven's Ward. Now they say why Unreal can be hard is that it has a lot of mechanics that don't have telegraphs which are the orange cone things that pop up and you can't see tank busters either so you really got to know the fight to prevent lots of damage and because of the scale down to current item levels the DPS checks can be more intense. Sometimes they can be harder than savage content sometimes they're easier than extreme trials from what I can find out about them. Let me know if any of you have played Unreal Trials and your personal opinion about them in the comments section. I would really like to know. Moving on to savage content. Now this is where most players in a tiny community who do high end content are. These are the second hardest pieces of content in Final Fantasy XIV with a much higher barrier to entry than extremes. They require a ton more commitment and usually a dedicated group, though you can prog and party finder for these as more come out and work your way up. Also, prog just means attempting. Now, I won't talk too much about this here as you can watch the video on why you shouldn't play Savage content to learn more about the ins and outs of Savage. Lastly, we have our ultimates, which are supposed to be the hardest pieces of content in the game and you might hear them in game referred to as T, the Epic of Alexander, Ukob, the Unending Coils of Bahama, and Uwu, Ultima Weapons Ultimate. These are the three ultimates in the game currently. Now, I read a really funny comment in a Reddit group somewhere, because I usually do a ton of research when posting these types of videos, that pretty much ultimates are Square Enix way of saying F you to those who have complained that there's no hard content in Final Fantasy XIV. These are the end all be all fights and are the most difficult for a few reasons. One, you cannot run them unsync, so there's no way of practicing them. Two, they are about 15 to 20 minutes long depending, where savage content with a good group can be anywhere from 9 to 15 minutes long. On top of that, if you die, you start over from the beginning. 
It really requires every single member of a party of eight to be experts in their field for their position and you'll probably be running these for 60 to 80 hours of practice before even being able to clear the boss of course depending on the skill level of each player essentially they're kind of like a boss rush with no checkpoints each fight has a tight schedule for clearing so dps checks and heal checks are plentiful on top of this there's multiple and layered mechanics and now with that, you have a basic idea of endgame content and you can decide how far you want to go with battle jobs in Final Fantasy XIV. I say battle jobs because there are so many other things you can do in game that aren't endgame content for battle jobs like crafting, gathering, hunts, relic grinding, and housing and glamour. So since there's so much to do in game, if endgame rating is not your thing, you have plenty of things to choose from. Thank you all for watching this video. If you got any value out of this video, then make sure to limit break three that subscribe button down below, as well as check out all of my social links for my Discord, Twitch, and Patreon. And if you wanna watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, then you can click here.